What's up, Lapis? Tell me how your day's been. What you been up to? Oh, it is I. I know, I know, I know. I don't usually stream on a Tuesday, but today is special. Because today, I don't have my work meeting this morning. I did have a separate meeting that I had to attend, but that is done now. Welcome. It is I, Kynik, and I make transformation art. Uh, like what you're seeing on screen right now is, uh, I mean, it's what I've currently, it's what I've been working on for ages now. Uh, it's almost done. I need to do a couple more things, but we're getting close. We are getting, oh, sorry about that. We are getting close. Um, so basically, uh, what I need to do is, um... finish working on this. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep going. Hey, Zimian Art. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Um, I was trying to, I was going to try and say something interesting, but I, then I realized that I had nothing to say. So, yeah. Uh, I have to do these tubes. I have to do the hard shading on these tubes. And then that should be all the hard shading done. Um... Then after that, I'm going to do hard highlights. How are you doing? More shading wise? Yeah, almost done. Uh, almost done. And then I'm going to 
after that, start the soft shading. Uh, which will be easy because all the hard shading's done. That's the reason I do the hard shading in the first place. Uh, so, yeah. Let's minimize a bunch of this stuff because we don't need it. And let's open up tube one that has a dog. Uh, hey, Yinglet. Hey, uh, Kaisis? Uh, yeah. Hey, Kaisis. Hey, Yinglet. Sorry, I forgot your name for a second there. Uh, this is looking amazing. Thank you very much. Uh, it is coming along. Uh, and this isn't even with the proper shading model. It's it's set to um, normal instead of multiply. Once I set it to multiply, you'll see that it is very special. Uh, so I need to work on this. I need to go to uh, dog shading, dog hard shading one. Uh, and then I need to basically apply hard shading to this uh, dog here. Uh, if I turn on clip. Yeah. So I'm just going to do that for hard shading one because basically it uh, is mostly going to be shaded except for a couple of the edges which will not be shaded. Um, like this. I could, I should probably turn off this liquid here so that it'll make it easier to see. Uh, but yeah. Just kind of going through and making it look nice. But welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. It is a lovely Tuesday for me. Uh, I don't want to go to work, but that's okay. We have to do these things. Uh, Grub has gone to work, so I have to as well. My day been bleh. My day hasn't really started yet. And I'm hoping that um, work will leave me to my own devices so that I can do things at my own pace today. I would like that. But we will see. We will see. So that's probably all of the layer one shading I need to do. Then there is, uh, oh, you know what else I should do? I should select out here and then delete all of the exterior shading there so that the clipping mask isn't the only thing that's keeping those colors in. Um, oh yeah, that's, yep. And then I will do hard shading level two on the dog. Dog hard shading two, uh, which is this color, uh, and it's a little bit more complex, but not too bad. I think I want to. I want to know. I want to clip it, and I just want to erase like a little bit more around the edges. Uh, if I go to here and then I go there, I know that's not making any difference, but is in my mind. Um, so then we just erase a little bit more. I want it to look like the light is you know, giving him a little bit of a silhouette. I don't really know what I'm doing with all this, but it kind of looks nice, so I'm going to assume that it's the right thing to do. Yeah, if you want advice on lighting, I feel like don't come to me. That needs to be 
like that because it's actually front -ish. I don't want to hear this song right now. Give me something different. Oh yes. That's fine. It's not the main focus anyway. I'm gonna make the liquid glow so that I can cheat and not add any shading to it. This should be the easy... This should be the hardest tube because I will need to figure out how the hard shading is going to look. But then the rest of them should be relatively easy. So that's all hard shaded there. have much to say honestly during this step it's mostly just tedious
Okay. Get rid of that. on the bottom. There we go. <sighs> Then we have uh,
Uh, the reason I'm erasing these bits is because uh, metal shines a little bit differently to everything else. Uh, and I found that when I do this, it makes things look more metallic. Uh, which does seem to be working here as well. Which is nice. TF Tuesday! Yes. Bakinu and Tim Tam. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Yes, exactly. My thoughts, exactly. Ignore all of that. You're never gonna see it. Don't worry about it. Boop. See? It's hidden now. I have no idea what that's supposed to be. Hey. That's part of the background that I messed up. Yeah, that's supposed to be like that, I'm pretty sure. Oh well, that's fine. I don't like it like that. I'm getting rid of this weird line away. Bye-bye. I like it better like this. <laughs> it's a nice natural border. Silhouette the character that we're trying to focus on. Ugh. I am exhausted. Oh. 
been working on... So I've basically been going from uh, working at my job to working on this game jam every afternoon. And it has been a lot. Uh, I am quite tired. And I'm getting enough sleep, it's just like... Oh no, I actually don't care about doing that. Um, I'm getting enough sleep. It's just that I am working so much that it is exhausting me. So... Now that I've done the shading on that one, it's kind of easier for me to tell what to do on the other ones. Uh, so if I go to tube 2, for example, and I go to tube hard shading 1, and I take the hard shading color, well I can just um, select everything that isn't the color of tube 2, then invert it, and make sure that's the clipping mask, and then I can... Oops, Color that all in. And then all I need to do is erase the bits that I want to get rid of. Uh, which is all of that, for example. six Like, I always sound so disappointed at the end of that song. It's like, oh, play six. sense there. Nor does it there, honestly, that should probably be fully occluded. Oh, hey, Jamie. You working on TF Game Jam? Yes. My game... Oh, uh, Kyrio and I are working on it. Um, we have been... Kyrie more than I because I've been doing work. We've been doing it for like the last month. And it's looking real nice. It's almost done actually. Uh, oh, I forgot to add.
You're close to ours too? Oh, hell yeah. Is that the bug one? No. We're working on something in secret. I am helping Kyrio with the bug one though, separately. And it's also turning out real good. I haven't helped much though with the bug one. I'm mostly helping with the game jam one. The bug one is pretty much all Kyrio. I have simply been there to admire and suggest. Not right now, Sonic. Looking forward to the release. Me too. I want to play through a whole bunch of them on stream uh, after the game jam's over. I did a little game, a uh, little stream for it last year, but I want to do it a proper one this time. Oh, that's not what I want. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. What the heck is this? That was very weird. Uh. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Just wondering how long of gameplay are you expecting? Um. I think you'll be able to play it for like half an hour, maybe. It's about how long I'm expecting people to play it for. Um, the amount of content in it is dependent on how good you are at the game and how invested you are in, this, in the game, <laughs> pretty much. You think about the same for you? Yeah. I'd be surprised if anyone had more than like 40 minutes of gameplay for their game. It's kind of hard to fit that much into a, a month of development. But I mean, I guess it can be done. It depends on if you're focusing on systems or story. But even then, that then can also change based on how fast you write the story or how fast you make the systems. It's like. In general, I found though that game dev takes quite a while, especially if you're making something from, like if you're just starting, uh, what, what am I trying to say? Especially if you start the process of coming up with what you want the game to be, like in the month. Because coming up with what you actually want the game to be is like half the battle. In my experience, at least.
bad. Sorry, everyone. And I am yawning all the time. I am just quite tired. I, I apologize. Tube three, let's turn off char. That's weird. Um, that's just a random line. Are you serious? Has that been there the entire time? Oh my god, it has. It's been there since like the very beginning. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, let's turn off. That liquid. Yeah, turn that off too. Um. And we can start shading. I crammed so much Unity, it's crazy. I've been cramming Godot. So, for this game jam, I have never, like, I've never used Godot before. Um, and Kyrio was getting used to Godot and I want to start learning Godot. Uh, and so it's made in Godot and, uh, it is, is this really selected this too? Um, it is probably the fastest I've tried to learn a game development software <laughs> like unity took me ages unreal also took me ages but godot i've been blasting through it uh, what am i selecting have i selected everything except the tube that's funny uh but it also makes sense because i forgot to press invert okay um yeah You'd love to switch over? I'm really enjoying it. Um, I didn't think I would like it as much as I do. For whatever reason, I had it in my head that Godot had like a really bizarre development pipeline, but it's pretty normal. <laughs> and I'm enjoying it, so it works for me. It's basically just like if you know how to use Unreal or Unity, it's pretty easy to get to know. Yeah. There are like weird naming conventions for things that I, in GD script, which is what I'm using because that's what they have supported the most out of any uh, language. They also support C sharp. I think, I don't know if they support anything else, maybe JavaScript, um, but I know they support GDScript, and GDScript is basically, it's very similar to C-sharp, which I'm happy about, because uh, I know C-sharp really well.
good for them. Yeah. Another great thing about Godot is that it is open source, um, <clears throat> and so if someone has an issue with it, uh, and like the the entire repo is available uh, for like community editions, so if people really want something to be added to Godot, it usually is pretty quickly, which I cannot say for Unity or Unreal. All of the features in Godot that I've used so far are fully fledged, <laughs> which I also can't say about Unity and Unreal. Uh, they, you know, if there's an issue, I look it up online and people are like, yeah, I opened a pull request for it and it's currently being worked on, or like, I opened a pull request for it and here's the answer and it's been implemented into this version. And it's like, holy shit. My god. People actually working on the engine. It's crazy. Um, and also, unlike Unity and, Good, uh, and Unreal, uh, the main audience for the engine is um, game developers. Because for Unreal and Unity, it is uh, their, their main clients, I should say, are actually um, enterprises. So Unreal, for example, is pandering mostly to um, like business visualization solutions and movies, um, movie studios. Uh, as far as I know, that's for me working in Unreal in a business visualization solution position for the last year and a half. Uh, and Unity is mobile games uh, with like ads and stuff, like free to play mobile games. So Godot having a strictly game development focus, Unity is also like advertising and stuff, just in general, its focus is on advertising. Um, Unreal action, uh, Godot actually being a primarily game development platform is wild. Because people actually care about it. And it actually runs, like, it runs so well. Uh, it's, ex it's been extremely efficient for me to use so far. Compilation times are instantaneous. Uh, I haven't... Uh, the next project... Uh, that my team works on after Hiyaki Echo 2 will be um, will have a lot more level streaming in it. Uh, it'll be like almost open world. Um, so I'm interested to see how Godot handles that. But there is a dude making an open world game in Godot and it looks really good. So I'm kind of excited about that. Um, I wish I remembered the name of it. Yeah, so if you want to get into indie game development, just in general, I would go with Godot. And, like, uh, n there's no n no competition there. Uh, it is, like, if nothing else, it's open source, which is spectacular. Uh, and it means that um, it'll basically be alive forever as long as people are still opening... Uh, issues and the community is still working on it um there's no like i mean there is godot as a 
company, I guess. Um, but I'm, as far as I know, it's mostly just a conglomerate of people that want to make a nice engine and not really. I mean, I, I know that I don't think they're money focused. I think they make donations, and that's about it. As far as I know, maybe they have a Patreon. I don't know. Um, but whatever the case, uh, it's awesome. Definitely a far better alternative for indie uh, game developers than Unreal and Unity, uh, no matter what you're doing. Uh, and this is coming from someone who is a game developer and has used all three engines. Godot is my favorite so far. And I've only used it for a month. So there we go. Like it has, to get into the nitty gritty of it, it has like a fully featured like a UI system. I, I don't know about the positioning in uh, the UI positioning stuff is a little bit weird. Uh, like getting things to work on multiple resolutions, but maybe that's just because I don't really understand it yet. Um, there's like a really nice uh, audio system for like managing different audio buses and adding effects and um, managing multiple uh, sound sources, audio sources at the same time and its node system is uh pretty interesting it's very hierarchically focused uh kind of similar to unity's ui uh but like applied throughout the entire runtime uh, i feel like i'm not really making sense i feel like part of this is just me rambling a little bit and then i'm using terminology that isn't really supposed to be used anyway i'm enjoying it uh but i'm still i've still got a lot to learn I said before that this reminds me of a game. This music. It's called Gregory Horror Show. It's such a weird. It's also a show, but I haven't seen the show. I've only seen the game. It's very bizarre. I've never really seen anything like it. Yeah, Gregory Horror Show. That's what this music reminds me of. I feel like I was... I, I, I seem to remember that a couple of weeks ago I, I was saying the same thing, but I couldn't remember the name of it.
Alrighty then. Well, as re this is good timing for Reach for the Summit to play because I am done for the day. Unfortunately, I would love to keep drawing, honestly, because I'm tired and this is a nice relaxing activity. I would rather do this than work. Uh, but I also like making money, so unfortunately I, I'm going to have to, I mean, I'm making money from this commission, but also I like being able to make enough money to pay my rent, uh, which is what work allows me to do, uh, which means that I can also stream because I have my own space uh, to, to do so because I'm renting. So basically my job is good because I can I can use it for streaming. Uh, so I need to unfortunately continue continue laboring being a uh, a worker and do my job. Um, but it's been very nice to hang out this morning. It's been very chill. I know the stream was only an hour, uh, but that's because I was busy this morning. Uh, and also I don't usually stream on Tuesdays anyway, so here we go. Uh, I'll just finish up this hard shading and then I'll head off. But I hope you've all had a good stream today. I know I, I've enjoyed it today. Today's been good. Uh, it's been very chill. I've enjoyed just kind of hanging out. Having a good time. This is vibing, to be honest. Doing a nice piece of art. We're getting there. We're getting there. Ooh. Uh. Have a good one, everyone. I will. Uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Let's see if there's anyone I can raid. I'm probably going to raid. Um. Umpa um, Puko. Paco on Pico because he's doing a uh, a fun little jam thing like that. He's doing um, he's playing Voices of the Void. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm tired as fuck. He's doing a little a little a little a little jam. He's having fun. I think he's doing his bitrate m m production marathon number seven. So I was there for number one. Anyway, <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye.